So why would why would an actor who at the in the seventies and when you went on to do movies like I mean for our generation of course we grew up on a pretty woman, an officer and a gentleman. Why would an actor who had all that who seemed to have everything Hollywood and the world could offer him? What were you looking for when? Why would you become a Buddhist or follow those teachings? And how would you reconcile being called the sexiest man alive to being to a know, simple Buddhist worshiper? I wanted to know why. I was miserable, and everyone else was miserable. <laughs> I wanted to know why people suffer. I wanted to know why things go so wrong. Mm -hmm. And as you know, it's the first noble truth. After the Buddha had, you know, many lifetimes of of evolutionary work on himself, and and became the Buddha, the universal being. Mm -hmm. He said quite clearly, "I don't know how I could ever explain this to anyone. What has happened to me? When I am now a universal consciousness, and I, and all the deities came to him, and yes. all the dakinis came to him, and they were pleading and weeping and said, please teach.' And he he worked very hard. How can I do? And well, he came up with the first." the Four Noble Truths, the first of which is the truth of suffering, is that we all live lives that are unfulfilled and painful. In various degrees of that, but there's a basic kind of frustration and sense of incompleteness that I think we all have. And then he said, well, there are causes for that. There's reasons why we feel that way. And then, you know, there is a way. If you remove the causes, you don't have that suffering. And then there's, okay, there's a path you can actually follow to get there. But the reality is, we are all in various degrees of suffering. And that's what I was concerned about, my own, but also as I looked around me, everyone else is suffering. 